There were few people in the valley of the Ottawa River in 1830. Yet Papa had chosen a place very far from anyone. He said the land belonged to no one, and no one would take it from us, as they had done in Ireland. Papa was many miles away that first winter, working in a lumber camp far down the river. If the Lord kept him safe, he would come home to us in the spring. Oh, Mommy, what's wrong with you? Oh, it's nothing, Moira. It's just the early morning chill. But wouldn't a little soap and milk be lovely now? <sighs> what am I talking about at all? You can't get milk out of trees. It's your next year, Wami. We'll have some great eating and drinking in this place. Oh, with the help of God. With the help of God. Each day we worked, clearing away the trees Papa had felled before he left. Oh, Take a go all of that at you there, Moira, will you? Oh, we're clearly clearing and the pile is getting no smaller. Yeah? We'll put order on it yet. And I'm sick of it all together. Keep going anyways. I'm tired of your foolish self. Mother said to have faith. The spring would come, grass would grow. Don't be trouble in your minds, children. They'll not come into the cabin. The hole in the roof, oh, Mommy. Could they jump in? No, 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 Tomas. They'll not come through the smoke. Come in close, the two of you. Come in close. Maybe if we sing a bit of a song, we'll not hear them. Father has promised in the spring to make a fine new bed out of that now. <laughs> There'll be no pink in your cheeks now. There'll be no time at all to find a lad of your own. What, in this forest? You'll never see anyone for miles and miles. Oh, there'll be no time at all till there'll be settlers coming. They'll be fine singing and dancing then. Is that where you met a yaddy? Singing and dancing, were you? Singing and dancing. Mother's spirits kept my hopes warm. The hardship seemed less when she spoke of father, our land, and the farm it would become. I was never like this at home. The life, I'm telling you. He doesn't do a tap all day. I shall even be more. He's not long out of his innocence. And the longer he plays, the better it is. 
father had promised us a horse or an ox when he returned, but it was a horse Thomas mostly thought about. I just spread your blessings on all the world, so I divide this food and then I'm in a hurry. Because I'm big, because I'm spread with me family. Mm. Now we'll be warm in no time. They were our basic food that winter, those potatoes. We had not much else. A little salt pork. A bit of flour. Come on, eat the meat now, not just the potatoes. It tastes worse than an Englishman's arse. Arse or no arse, you eat it up now. I wouldn't even give it to my horse. Come on, Dwyer. Eat up that meat now. Every bit of it, mind you. Not very nice. Shed of a hour, tall on the cross, the tall tear in the lap, this ban of who hard him in our. Our language had been outlawed in Ireland, but had survived secretly through our music and prayers. Shed of a hour, tall on the cross, the tall tear in the lap, this ban of who hard him in our, because this ban of who turned the Vrinisa. And he will walk a jay grey, packing issues of your much men. None of my and spirit, nave I men. Now be off the two of you, above into the bed. Are you from I am an all. How the place is big and small. Mother said they were too dry and old, but it was a new cross we wanted, so we went to the place where the rushes grew. It was St. Bridget's Day, spring in Ireland there would be a new woven cross above every door. I knew it was different when I saw Mother's pain. It wasn't just the cold. Something else had struck Mother. I want to kick us up. It's not too hot, I promise you. In Ireland, during years of starvation and cruelty, Awami had kept us alive. Mm. On the ocean voyage, she had seen the bodies of the dead cast overboard. Oh, Myra, we're mm. after spilling it. She had endured it all for the dream of a better life. Don't be troubling yourselves, children. Don't be troubling yourselves. Don't worry, Thomas. A woman knows you're doing your best. The work we had shared fell to me alone. 
Pneumonia had struck many of our people, and I did not know how to help. Awami, the strength of our days, could not get up after that. Listen well to me now. If it's death that's facing me now. Go between us and I'll harm you and I'll die, Wami. It's you will have to take care of the home and the moss. I could feel her heart pounding, struggling to hold on to her life. I held on to her, trying to keep her with us. She died, I'm not sure when, for I was praying and sleeping a little. It was comfort I got from those prayers. I knew the Lord heard them, for he took Mother gently. Moss and I had seen many people buried. I clung to our traditions, for I knew it was what Mother would want. The men smoked tobacco to keep away the bad spirits, a sprinkle of salt to ward off evil. I can't do this anymore. It keeps going out on me. Just a little bit longer, Thomas Sheen. It's making me sick, I'm telling you. <coughs> You'll have to do it, Tomas. <coughs> you won't be sick. <coughs> we'll get some bells now. The ground was frozen, and all we could do was cover her with branches to protect her from the wolves. Seven times the full of the sod of Malou, of the church of Patrick, of the mantle of Bridget, of the tomb of Christ, of the palace of Rome, of the church of God, on your soul and on the souls of all the dead. As much as the grains of sand on the shore, the blades of grass in the fields, the drops of dew on the hills, are the blessings on your soul and on the souls of all the dead. I don't care to be out there anymore. We go in now and put some logs in the fire. Come on, come on. She go to now. She'll go to heaven, of course. What would you say heaven is like? Heaven is a sh why heaven is paradise itself.
I belong now to Norse. Mother had kept us together. Mother had been our survival. You okay? Come along now. We could not stay with her gone. I had to try to find father. It's slippy. I know. If we could reach the village, someone would take us to him. How far is it? I don't know, Moss. I knew we had to first cross the lake, then search for the mouth of the river. The village was on the river, but I did not know how many miles it was. I had done a foolish thing to lead us out. We could not find the village. We would not be able to reach Papa. We had to turn back. This day, I believe it was a miracle that got us back to the shanty. Saint Anthony and all the saints brought us home, for we did not do it ourselves. I felt so lonely. I doubted there was anyone else on earth. I could not cry anymore. All my tears were spent the night Awami had died. I thought of Papa. I wondered if he were still alive or if Tomas and I were now orphans. Can you give me a hand, Moss? I need your help, you know. For the Dibble Manager influence. I want the. Trees and ice, trees and ice. Nothing in the whole world except trees and ice. There's us in the world, Thomas. Now we need some wood for the fire. Come and help me. I'm not your servant, boy. 
Well, that's the truth anyway. Come on and help. We're going to die just like a woman and you know it. Don't say such things to Moss. They're not true. Take this, Tomas. No. Take it, take it, take it. No. I'm sick of you, Tomas O'Donnell. Trees and ice, trees and ice. Nothing in the whole world except trees and ice. Come and say your prayers, Tomas. No, I will not. Pray God doesn't punish you someday. Arnya her thornyav, Ganefa Danam and Gagat the Great, Ganefa the Heller and Talif Marjain Thernav. Will you come and say your prayers, Tomas? No, I won't. Arnor on Lehu, Tordoin and you, Ogismaku and Navika, Marawahamid the Kuna Fain, Ogsnaleg Shnigaho, Oxer Shnawalk, Amen. Now listen to us, I'm going to tell you a story. You're no storyteller, I was a woman who had the stories. Well, I'm the storyteller from this out. Now listen to me. Long ago, there was a poor family, who, because they'd famine in their land, had to leave it. They travelled across the rough seas in search of another place to live. And the place they came to was dark and cold and very lonely. There were wild animals and huge forests. The family had a shanty in the middle of the forest. Their father had to leave them to find work cutting down the great oak and pine. Their mother grew sick, and because there wasn't enough potatoes to eat, she died. The poor children had to try and live on their own. The little boy became very lonely and wouldn't do as his sister asked. He hardly spoke to her, though she was very lonely and frightened as well. He said they would die, and so they would if he didn't help. At last they became friends again. The little boy was as good as gold. They chopped down the trees and cleared the forest as far as their eyes could see. Soon everybody knew about the two fine children who ruled the forest. The girl grew to be a great lady renowned in wisdom, and the boy grew to be the strongest and most noble man in all the land. <laughs> Moss began to live the story I had told him. He believed that from his misery would be born a hero. Leave some of it for a yaddy, Moss. He better hurry up if he's coming. I'll have it down by then. I never thought it would. But the cold finally began to leave and the days grew longer. The warmth crept into our bodies and into our spirits. A little man put down his jacket and tucked his beard into his shirt and went under our brush pile, Myra. And I waited a long while for him to come out. A likely story, Tomas. It's true, Myra, I promise you. Kite! Myra! That first winter had ended, but an emptiness remained. The winter had taken our mother and a bit of ourselves. <laughs> 